Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a slew of cards here to show you using the Changing Leaves bundle. This is an online exclusive. Just That just means you won't see it in the catalog, but you can find it online. It is um, a hybrid embossing folder, which means that the die will fit into the embossing folder and you can emboss and cut at the same time. We're not gonna do that um, for this project, but I do have another video that shows you how to do that if you're interested. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to ink your embossing folder. This is one of my favorite things to do with embossing folders. Um, I played around with some fall colors and um, just couldn't stop, really. <laughs> um, so we're going to actually make one in Blackberry Bliss. But let me show you. This is Cherry Cobbler. Uh, this is Copper Clay. This is Cajun Craze. This is Wild Wheat. And this is Pretty Peacock. And I was trying to go for a gold look um, using the Wild Wheat ink. It didn't really work so well, but I still liked the way it looked. If you have a metallic uh, ink pad, which I don't have, um, you could try that. And I think it might be really, really pretty. All right, so very simple card. Um, you can probably make a bunch of them pretty quickly. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Now, here is the embossing folder. We're going to use Blackberry Bliss. And Black Blackberry Bliss is messy, so hopefully I don't make a huge mess. For whatever reason, this ink is pretty messy. I am going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back of my cardstock. And I'm going to put it right here. Um, in my embossing folder. The reason I'm doing that is because we're going to ink the folder twice and run it through and I don't want the paper to slip the second time. All right, so you're going to open up your ink pad and you can use a brayer to do this, but I just like to do it like this. And I'm going to run that ink pad across my embossing folder and really I'm more, I'm not concerned about what's between the leaves. I'm concerned more with the leaves. I want to make sure I get those inked up really well. Okay. I might have, I might have bitten off more than I could chew with Blackberry Bliss. You guys know who, those of you who play with Blackberry Bliss, it is a mess. It's very messy, but it's so beautiful. Hopefully I don't make a huge mess, but let's see. All right. So plate one and plate four, and you're going to run it through. And let's see how it looks. Oh, gorgeous. Can you see how the darker color is there on the leaves like that? And I keep sticking my finger in it. Uh, luckily, I have my chamois here somewhere, right here. All right, let's do it again, just so that it's a little bit darker. And if you hold your folder, my folder has been used so much it's starting to warp, so it's kind of bent a little bit. But if you hold this other side up, then the opposite side will lay flat. All right, now remember, we have put adhesive on the back of that paper to hold it in place. So I'm not worried about it um, slipping and then getting, you know, shadows or whatever of the ink in places we don't want it. All right, run that through one more time. You could probably get away with just doing it once if you wanted, but look, it's so rich when you do it twice. All right, now this, I'm not gonna clean it on camera. My favorite way to clean an embossing folder is to go to the sink and the water just washes it all away. So I will do that when we are done. But let's see if I can get this ink off my fingers. All right, now we're gonna need a trimmer, which mine is buried down here, always buried when I need it. We're gonna cut this down to four by five and a fourth. Um, you do sometimes get a little bit of this in between the leaves. Um, if you look at my samples, I do have a little bit. It doesn't really bother me, but if it does bother you and you want yours to be absolutely perfect, see right there, use the brayer. I think you'll, be, you'll have better luck with the brayer. Um, but what I've noticed is that I get most of that around the edges. So we're gonna cut this down to four by five and a fourth. So you can kind of position your paper so that you cut off maybe the worst of it. So like right there, I'm gonna to try to cut that off. Let's see, yep, we can cut that off. All right, so four by five and a fourth. I hope this comes through on the camera so you can just see, let's see if I hold it real still, if you can just see how dark and just rich that color is. 
I mean, it's so beautiful. All right, now all you're going to do is put it, and I like to use a lot of adhesive for embossed pieces because they're kind of warped, especially around the edges. And you're just going to use adhesive to put that on a Blackberry Bliss card base. Okay? All right, let's do the rest of the card. Um, I really only need one of those pieces for now. We're going to take that large leaf and we're going to stamp it in Blackberry Bliss ink and we're going to put that on basic white. Now, this die is kind of funky. I told you that it would fit down in your embossing folder, so that's why all the leaves are connected. So when you're just die cutting out one leaf, you're going to have to kind of arrange your paper in your cut and emboss machine. You may need to cut your paper down, but I like to, once again, get my post-it tape. You guys know I love my post-it tape. And just keep that in place like that. All right. Make sure when you're running it through, you know, you don't do it like that so that it sticks out on the edge. You gotta kind of rotate it around. All right. Carefully pull that out. And there we go. Now we're gonna stamp the sentiment. Um, I have already cut out the little label. Here it is right here. I love when sets come with their own labels and frames. Uh, it makes it really easy. Now I'm gonna stamp this in Versamark using an embossing buddy. The embossing buddy removes the static. So hopefully your little granules won't stick to places where, they, where you don't want them. Let's see if I can get this straight. A little note to brighten your day. Yeah, I did pretty good. All right, we're gonna use gold. Let's see, I need my reverse tweezers, which I had gotten out, I thought. grab your reversible tweezers that's going to help you hold on to this a little bit better and we're going to add on gold embossing powder make sure that it's all in the right places you can grab your paintbrush I have a little speck right there that I can take off and then grab your heat tool and we're going to heat it until it's shiny to put our card together. We're going to take that beautiful leaf and our dimensionals. And we're going to put that right there. And then take your sentiment. I do love a monochromatic card. Monochromatic means all of one color. And then we're gonna put that there. And then I feel like we need a little bit of linen thread just to add a little bit of something. And we'll add that. Everything is on my right side. And I am using my right hand. I'm not very organized today. Not that I'm ever very organized, it seems like. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to put that right there. Now, I'm just going to add a piece of basic white cardstock to the inside. You could get fancy and carry over some of that design. In fact, let's see, we cut away some of that piece right here. 
What if we cut that and just put that right there? That might be really pretty. Let's do that. I didn't do that on the other cards, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking, wait a minute. Let's cut it to one inch. Okay. And then we've got to do uh, five and a half. Just carry over that design to the inside. And we'll put that right there. All right, you guys, there you go. Let's look at it with all the other beautiful colors because, I mean, wow, these colors are just gorgeous. Blackberry Bliss, Wild Wheat, don't those look good together? Cajun Craze, Pretty and Peacock, Copper Clay, and Cherry Cobbler. All right, you guys, make sure you join me for Facebook Friday or watch the recording. I'm gonna actually do one more color. You'll have to tune in to see which color I use. All right, you guys, thanks so much. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.